Hi, Greg Dorsey here. It's Tuesday, February 19 at LeavesMarketForecast.com. Uh, with stocks setting one new high after another and the S&P overbought at 8.5% above its 200-day moving average, uh, amid a, a backdrop of only modest economic growth and myriad looming problems such as the fast-approaching March 1 sequestration deadline, it pays to look at uh, market indicators to give you an idea, of an unbiased idea, uh, of what's coming down the pike. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, quite a few indicators are giving uh, stocks the green light right now, signaling further gains are in store. Uh, the best markets are those in which uh, the small cap shares are out in the front leading the advance. And one proprietary indicator that we follow uh, that examines the broad market uh, by combining two measures of small cap performance, the unweighted average of all stocks on the NYSE, and the uh, weekly advanced decline line, while taking into consideration their standard deviations of the pair, uh, is uh, right now, uh, with the broad market acting uh, as well as it is, uh, has in recent months, this indicator is flashing uh, a buy signal. And uh, it, it happens to have a, an 800 uh, batting average uh, over the last 40 years or so. Uh, not only in generating uh, positive returns in the subsequent three and six months, but above average returns, especially for small cap shares, but for the blue chips as well. Uh, in a similar vein, uh, another indicator we follow, the high-low logic index, which put simply uh, looks at the paltry number of stocks hitting, given the, the paltry number of stocks hitting new 52-week lows right now, uh, is typically associated with marks that are positioned, markets that are positioned for strong advances. Uh, moreover, it would be highly unusual I mean highly, uh, for stocks to undergo a sizable correction for this indicator worsens. Now that might happen over a period of months, but for now all systems are go. Uh, that said, and here's where our emotions come into play, uh, we admit that we're a bit doubtful that blue chip stocks can punch through their record uh, highs set in 2007 on the first try. Uh, we're a little more than 2% away for that now on the S&P 500. Uh, but we do remain optimistic, and we'll see how things play out. And if our indicators start to deteriorate, uh, we'll certainly let you know. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you again soon.